Hot Spell. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. There's book mail, a reading update, a lot of snacking, cooking, movie watching, TV watching. I go to a lake, haul, shopping. More stuff like that. Walmart and did a grocery order. I had to go in because they said they didn't have a couple things. Sometimes when they do that, they really do. They did have one of the things they said they didn't, but the rest I just got something else. I went to this little cafe place near me, kind of like a Panera bread, but not. I got some things, which were yummy. So, my husband's yogurt. We got shredded, sharp cheddar, and fiesta blend, which is just taco cheese. Bacon for a recipe. My mini cucumbers and salad eggs. My husband's cheese that he goes with biscuits, ground beef for recipe, and onion for recipe. Got two bananas, which need to ripen, it looks like. Um, for me. More cotton rounds, more shower cleaner, my husband's energy drinks, more my salad dressing, and the beans for recipe. This for a meal. Uh, the pinto beans aren't for a recipe, they're for a meal. We've been spending way too much at the grocery store every week, so this week I'm doing a, I'm doing a cheap meal week, like very cheap. <laughs> Like just regular, plain, no recipe spaghetti, even with jar sauce. And and then like Salisbury steak and then the macaroni. And I make my macaroni on my pinto beans. So. Then milk, soda for both of us, uh, 40 pack of water, paper towels. And I went in and while I was in there, I got some triscuits for me, some cheese for me. They didn't have the sandwich meat I had ordered for myself, so I just got this. They had his juice, they said they were out of it, and I'd wanted to get one of these. I'll show you the rest of them. I, like, I never can find, or I never go shopping for planners. And on my pickup order, I got this bigger one, and a smaller one that match. And I like this. And this looks cute for spring. And then outside in the back, I thought that would be cute. And then I went in, there's probably another movie section. I tried to get these on the order, but it said they were out, they weren't. Mitchell's versus Machines. I never heard of it, but it looked in sound. And the Blu-ray of Speed. These were about five dollars, so. And I needed more body wash for the down my bathroom downstairs. I got this because it smelled really good. Found the one that I'd wanted originally. The cute and creepy. And I didn't know how to color these because they're already just so pretty. So I kind of looked it up online, and it looks like colored pencils a lot. And I have a lot of colored pencils, but just to look at theirs, I don't have any shades like this. Colors of the world. And then if I mess up, I thought this was pretty cool. Erasable colored pencils. Oh, that's everything else that inside. Eating the other half of my bagel I got yesterday. It's really yummy. And I'm also getting caught up on Casey Home vlogs. I really love her vlogs, and I can't believe how behind I was. I mean, she doesn't post a ton, so it won't take me long to... I mean, she posts regularly, but not like a ton on this, because she has two channels. Um, so it won't take me long to get caught up, but I just watched our first pumpkin patch one. So, and that's fall 2021, so... Uh, so I'm watching some of those. March 9th. And I got some things in the mail, so I'll probably show you. Um, for my grocery order, there was some things I had to deliver. This was two DVDs for two of them, and they were like $3.74 on the website. That's why I got them. Shirley Temple, Everyone's Little Princess, includes exclusive documentary featurette. Celebrate Shirley and Friends with over 14 hours of family entertainment. And there's all the old movies and old stuff, so. And then. I can't believe I didn't have this. 
And then from another place, I had ordered a few shower caddy things. One won't be here until next week, it says, but the other one came. Like most everything, I've been re almost everything I've been replacing, I say the same thing, I've had them forever. The shower caddy in the upstairs bathroom was starting to keep falling over. And it rusts, and I didn't like that. And it's like they wanted to go out at the same time, the one in my shower and my bathroom downstairs. I just heard a big crash one day and went in there and it was bloop and everything was falling out. So the one from my bathroom came today. And for this one, I got um, a freestanding one that you can just put in, like a corner on the ground because mine is a shower only in my bathroom. It's not a tub. And since I'm the only one that uses that one, this is just perfect. I only got something from HarperCollins. You were here, Connecting Flights. And it's written by several authors, edited by Ellen O. But it's the same Ellen O. She's the one that wrote The Spirit Hunters. So I'm very excited that she edited this. But it's written by Tracy Chi, Mike Chen, Meredith Ireland, Mike Jong, Aaron, and Trotta Kelly, Min Lee, Grace Lynn, Ellen O. too, Linda Sue Park, Randy Ribay, Christina Stuntornblot, and Susan Tan. Yay, thank you so much, HarperCollins. And this is out now. I'm going to drop off our taxes. And I'm thinking about going to a place that I didn't go. I was going to go the other day when I went to Walmart in that um, bistro type place. But after already being at Walmart for so long and then that, I just, and it was getting warm in my car, even though it wasn't warm outside, I didn't want to go long enough to read a, and eat my lunch there. So, And then I never went to the trail the day I went to that bigger city, like last week. So I don't know. But I am taking the taxes. And as for a reading update, finished the third Jane Doe. I don't think she said the Lord's name in vain as many times as she said it in the second book, but she still said it a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> so that won't be getting a full review and it won't get any, any stars on Goodreads because I won't be recommending it because of that. And it just makes me so sad. Because <laughs> it's such, they're great books. Like I, except for that. And it always takes me out and makes me so mad because it's so unnecessary. And every time she cut gets cut off from saying like, like I've said, lower level cuss words that they even say on like the local channels now that they're allowed to say, like, I don't understand. <laughs> you won't let them say that, but she says that so many times. Anyway, I um, finished the third books of book, um, elsewhere books. So I'm on the fourth. I'm reading, I'm on the fourth, which is The Books of Elsewhere, The Strangers by Jacqueline West. I just started on chapter two. I love the first book so much. And then the second and third book, our main character annoyed me so much and like and then especially like the third book she keeps doing the same stupid stuff and not and being kind of selfish i don't know i hope she just stops that but the story overall and the rest of the characters and everything and the writing i just love and i'm reading orla and the wild hunt by anna houghton her book the mask of arabella i loved and i was so happy she had another book out finally and i'm really enjoying this i've been reading so many books where the main characters annoy me <laughs> main character of this one I could not stand. I understood why she was that way though as someone who's dealt with grief. Um, she's gotten a lot better as a story. Like she has great character growth and development. I really appreciate that and even though I didn't like her in the beginning it doesn't make me not like the book like some will do because there's a purpose for it and it's relatable and it will be relatable for so many people who have experienced grief and the anger parts and just how you feel. It's just hard to explain but on page 219 and I finished Mish the Bad Demon that and so I, I haven't started this yet but it's the one I'm picking up today since I finished the other graphic novel Map Makers and the Lost Magic by Cameron Chitok and Amanda Costello very excited I'm reading When We Were Warriors by Emma Carroll on page 180 and I picked up Savvy Ingrid Law on page 177 and you're sitting on the other two books i'm reading because i'm thinking i'm gonna take those with me if i do go to that place to eat and watch and read and see the sights so i finished the second book in the 13 witches series the sea of always and i finished it tuesday and tuesday the third book came out and i received it yesterday yesterday so i picked it up yesterday so it's book three and i think the final one the palace of dreams so i finished the other one perfect timing and then immediately dove into this one when i got it on page 15 and then i had won the giveaway like i mentioned on jamar j perry's instagram for an arc of the second book in the cameron battle series 
And so I picked up the first book, which I own, which I bought myself, Cameron Battle and the Hidden Kingdom of Marvel Fairy. So that I can dive into that one when I get done. Page 45, enjoying it so far, really. Anyway, just thought I'd give a little update. I need to decide what I'm gonna do with it. aren't ripe yet so I made the turkey I got sandwich with Duke's mayonnaise of course and a mountain olive pickle <laughs> still getting caught up on Casey's vlog two of these in there in here when I get a good one sometimes when she has that wolf coat and she shed twice a year for summer and her winter coat I think it was and you could see the, the good patches on her that that would pull a good amount and I got a lot of them and I guess when I didn't have anywhere to put them I stuck them in they were in the holder the whole time so hmm. I'm sure y'all are tired of hearing all that pop, but I don't want to just share good stuff. I want to share real stuff, so if I smell like her, it's just, it's good and it's bad. So I was happy I found that. side of the vacuum I have to do this every now and then if I didn't do this a lot it would be way more than this and instead of like five minutes this would have been like an hour situation like when I was really young and I didn't know to do that and my boyfriend at the time showed me because like my mom was OCD and she liked to do the cleaning herself and I just had to do my room but so there's all these little things I didn't know so I was like 17 or 18 and it took forever and you if it had been a while since I'd done it. My pup's hair was still being here and it's not, which makes me sad. These little things are from when I um, vacuum out the dryer vent. All of that's from the dryer vent. But yeah, this is how much I shed and gets caught up. Make sure you're cleaning your vacuums. Now I gotta clean clean them because it's getting dirty in there. You can't only get something so clean with a vacuum if the vacuum itself is dirty. <laughs> I thought I'd show y'all some of how I did some stuff. I don't know if I ever showed you fully. Her wall where it's just pictures of her. Top two, puppy, puppy, not even a year old. Midwest, Midwest, our first apartment here before we bought our house, same. The big one in the middle that has the rainbow is here. And this one's from here. While it's just us, I'm gonna try to show you without showing my husband since I don't wanna be on camera, so I don't, I'm gonna put him on this. This is in the Midwest, that's the Mississippi River. And there's so many lily pads behind us right there. This is also in the midwest. My husband loved this dead tree, so I took our pictures of it. It's here on our porch swing. And in the midwest, our latest pictures I took. The family wall. Two pictures of all of us, me, my husband, and my pup. 
And then one of just him and her, and then one of just me and her. That's me and her outside. One of him and her outside. I love her faces. This is one of my favorite pictures I've taken. It's by the place we had rented. And you can see the waterfall in the background. And she's looking at the camera, looking all pretty. I just love that. This one is actually here at this house. And then as far as like the decorations and stuff, I don't know if I'd shown you everything. That clock there, I put this little metal sign up here. Thing in there. I just put the love thing there. My couch, which I just vacuumed. And that <laughs> is what I, her hair that was in the thing that I found, I just put it in the baggie. So that's what that is. I put the home thing there. It's a picture of me and my dad when I was little. Let's see your garden devotional. Just the Lucy books to this one. And there it is. Up on the stairs. I put this one here. It's a harder one that where the place that career manager did it. Her paw looked weird, but they got her a day after she passed, so I don't even want to think about why her paw looks different. It has her name on it, and I put it there. And then I put these here. That one on one side, this one on the other, and then in the, more, in the middle of the TV. The first shelf of the entertainment center, I put the home thing here. And then put those on the other side. I don't know if I love it like this, but this is how it is for now. Put the little clock there. The little succulent family. Bless this home and off there. Home sweet home and that beautiful candle that I got. And right after she passed the vet, the university did her paw print and put her name on it. And it came in this cool little case with the very bow big bridge poem. And I put here the last seashell I got the last time I went home. Me and her went to the beach. The only seashell she let me look for because she was ready to go. So I put that there. That's everything right now. It is Friday, March 10th, I think. Got some book mail, so I thought I'd share it. I just got back from getting my nails done. And of course, the day I picked, it was supposed to snow, so I left really early, about the time it was supposed to start, because at some point, we're supposed to get like an inch an hour or something. And still, I'm loving this place. They're at the length I want them to now, too, shorter. Since it's March and St. Patrick's Day is coming up, I got a green. But that's what man. Yeah, the author had reached out to me about this. I didn't realize it was so short. But this was a highly anticipated release and they had reached out because they'd seen my YouTube video. But the Oasis King, the Oasis Chronicles, Mark David Cohen. I'm so excited. This is out now. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Thank you. Yay. Okay, the banana was finally ripe enough. I don't know if this is weird to anybody else. Like when I, I didn't think it was weird. I thought everybody ate these, but my husband is from Chicago and he acts like this is the weirdest thing in the world. But growing up in North Carolina, I eat these all the time. And it's a banana sandwich with mayonnaise, just sliced banana. And Duke's mayonnaise, of course. And something about the banana with uh, Duke's mayonnaise, it's just so good. So that's lunch today. I'll catch you up on my Casey videos. All right, I just got out of the shower. I already got rid of the big sweater and put on a big old shirt. Put on a face mask. The, not the kind you fold out and put on you but the you rub on and then wash off and my skin always looks so good after i use it I always do it on fridays especially not so much in the, the summer but the winter as soon as i left the south and then so in the midwest and it does it here too my skin i have oily skin but i get dry patches i guess because of the cold dry uh winters which didn't have that in north carolina i try to do it every friday along with my regular stuff, so. And I didn't explain the other day when I went to the lake place, I don't think, I didn't sit down and read anywhere. It was really windy and a little bit colder than I thought, but they were benches built off to the side of that road and they were built onto the rocks, like leaning over. And I just, I hate bridges. I don't know why, there's just something about them. Anything man-made. <laughs> and 
it just was giving me the, I didn't like standing on it. I just saw myself tumbling on the rocks. But I did walk a far way out, and I'll probably, when it's a little bit warmer and not as windy, I'll walk even further. My husband has talked to me about getting me getting another car because me and my pup were in that my car that I have now. So that's like, I won't ever get rid of it. Like her place in the back is still set up. I'm so worried about something happening to it and he knows I wanna keep it. But I wanna get some stuff paid out before I do get another one. But I, I do think it's time for another one because I don't like to say I'm too old for things because you can be as old as you want and get whatever you want. But I feel silly in it sometimes, just personally. Not, I don't care what anybody else thinks. And I feel like I have to climb out of it and I fall into it because it's a little, it's a little sports car. And it's so ridiculous. And I'm like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Plus, like in the Midwest and here, it's not the best for winter driving. You slide a little bit more. <laughs> I've always liked sports cars and I always had, always gotten those and, but getting older, plus live in the north, <laughs> but I will keep that car. It's me and my pup's car, but anyway. It's Saturday, March 11th, but, but I don't think I ever showed you these pants that I was talking about when I was, got the sunflower and the strawberry ones and how I got these originally and really loved them. And, but this is the, like, the illustrated as well. Just wanted to show you. All right, it is Sunday, March 12th. Got caught up on all my Casey vlogs, so now Nicole Guerrero is another beauty YouTuber I like, but I realized, because I don't watch beauty YouTube anymore, really. I love her vlogs, so I love watching her vlogs and I'm kind of behind on those two. Let's see. Yeah, I'm over a year behind on those two, about the same time probably. Before she had the baby, their first baby. I've been watching her forever too, but amazing vlogs. Home decor and all sorts of things too. And her husband can cook. So, my husband's on his way home from work, gonna warm up some leftovers. Wash the bedding today and laundry, cleaned. On the video, I've been posting about three reviews a day because I'm caught up on all those reviews, but now I just need to get them posted. And like I've said many times, I can't post 80 in one day, so I've been doing like three a day most days, trying to get all those caught up. And so I'm about to post the third for today and then edit my video tonight after the hubby, husband goes to bed so it can go up tomorrow uh, for most anticipated March releases finally. And we used to watch America's Got Talent all the time. We haven't watched it in a few years. I think the last time we watched it was in the Midwest when we lived there. So, And the only season I could find on anywhere where you could watch it was the latest season on the NBC app. And even though NBC is a local channel, you still have to have a provider now. Like, what happened? Like, you used to be able to have rabbit ears and watch NBC for free. <laughs> so, um, I signed up my email and that gave me three credits so we got to watch the first three episodes so i think i'm just gonna do a free trial a week free trial of one of those apps it's on and then watch the rest of that we'll watch the rest of that season then i'll cancel it because i'm not paying 70 dollars for an a app when that's more than i used to pay for direct tv when we had any sort of cable so we've been watching that at night and getting back into that so that's pretty cool and That's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you would like to subscribe, I would love that if you'd like to. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.